Recently, I've been looking into a lot of stuff about the new version of Mac OS X, which at this point will be Mac OS 10.7 or Lion. I've been looking at a lot of stuff on Apple's website about this, and apparently they have a new feature which is going to be called Launchpad, which actually looked really cool to me. It's a feature which basically brings up a little application launcher where you press a button or do a multi-touch gesture, and it will allow you to have sort of an iPad view of all of your applications and sort all your applications into a folder. And I said, well, I want one of these features, but I only have a Snow Leopard Mac, and 10.7 isn't released yet. Well, anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and turn your dashboard into sort of a Launchpad clone for absolutely free. <laughs> Now bear in mind that this won't be exactly like the dashboard out there because this is free. But what we are going to be doing is we're going to be downloading a dashboard widget which will allow us to launch files, folders, and applications directly from our dashboard. So to go ahead and do this we're going to want to go to the link in the description and it will basically be an article talking about everything I'm talking about in this video right now. But just go ahead and click the link that says try it now and it will bring you to a page that looks like this. Then just go ahead and download the widget. It will be called plus it's an absolutely free widget again I'll post the link to this in the video's description once that's done just go ahead and navigate to the folder with the zip file unzip it and then go ahead and double click on the widget and then go ahead and install it and once you have the widget installed it should appear on your dashboard so go ahead and make it appear on your dashboard just go ahead and click F4 or go down into your dock and click on dashboard and then just go ahead and click on the plus button and then as you see here, here's a widget called Plus that should look like this. Once you open it up, it should go ahead and look like this, which it'll say drop a file, folder, URL, image, or anything else here to customize the widget. So as it said, you can drop in a file, so like a Word document. You could drop in a folder, like your applications folder, a URL, like a video page, a picture, or anything else, such as an application. So as you can see here, I have a couple ones over here. Let me just go ahead and uh, close that out. As you see here, I have one for Chrome, one for Mail, Skype, Tweety, iTunes, ScreenFlow, Applications, Adobe stuff, my Utilities folder, Address Book, Final Cut, and Illustrator and Photoshop. So if I want to go ahead and add something, I can go ahead and just drop it in here. So let's, for example, go to Applications. And uh, once in there, I, let's just say I want to go ahead and drag in, let's say, iMovie. So to drag in iMovie, just go ahead and click and drag it, then press the keyboard shortcut for, for uh, a dashboard, which should be like F4 or something, then drag it in, and it'll appear like this. Now you can choose to open it, anything you want to, but keep it on iMovie. On display, you can either display the plus icon or the iMovie icon. You can choose to max it out if you want to. And for this, I just usually keep to keep the size of the icon down to something like this. Then just go ahead and click OK. And then as you notice, we have a little icon for iMovie. And you can go ahead and drag it around and organize all of these. And again, you can add in anything else you want to. It doesn't have to be an application. It can be a folder, a file, an image, or a URL, or anything you want to. And then you can just go ahead and launch it up. So as you see here, I clicked on it, and iMovie is launching down in my dock. And it will launch up the iMovie application. But I'm going to quit the iMovie application because I don't want to. And you can go ahead and do this and customize it for anything you want in your launch pad to say. And if you want to go ahead and remove something, just click the plus button and make sure you're on manage widgets. When you can go ahead and choose all of these if you want to. If you want to remove plus, just remove it by clicking here. But if you want to just remove any of these, just make sure you press the plus button. And then there should be a little X that appears over any of the icons. Just go ahead and click that little X and it will remove the widget and then you can go ahead and just keep the ones that you want to and you can go ahead and add in any widgets any shortcuts any files or anything you want to to your launch pad like this and that's pretty much it so that's it guys the uh, application is the plus widget which I'll post for free in the video's description. Sorry, I can barely talk today, but you can download this widget for free from the website that I'll post in the description. It's absolutely free, as I said before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for anything you want to see me do in the next video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.